Easy and I think rather appealing. So today we're going to make a blue raisin walnut loaf. Now this loaf isn't blue because it's uh, because it's sad or because it's gone sour. It's blue because it uses uh, a very special ingredient, blue cheese. And uh, you might think it's a little nutty to add blue cheese to a raisin walnut loaf, but I think it adds a very nice, intense, cheesy, and earthy flavor to the raisins and walnuts in the loaf, and it's almost like a complete cheese course, including the port wine, in one loaf. So, let's get started. To make this loaf, we shall need 500 grams of flour, 5 grams of yeast, 10 grams of salt, 300 grams of sourdough starter, 125 grams each of walnuts and raisins, 425 milliliters of water, 10 grams of oil, and finally 125 grams of blue cheese. And if you don't have a starter, you can make a sort of a mock starter by uh, mixing 150 milliliters of water with 150 grams of flour the day before you make this recipe, and also add in a small pinch of yeast and that almost works just as well. Now mix together the flour, water, oil, yeast, and starter. Let this sit for about 20 minutes covered, and then mix into this the uh, sea salt and blue cheese in the mixer, and mix on medium to medium high with a paddle attachment until the gluten starts to form and it comes off from the side slightly. And if you need this by hand, or your flour is less strong, perhaps lessen the amount of water by 25 milliliters, or that's about two tablespoons. Now switch to the dough hook and add in the raisins and walnuts, and knead until everything is well incorporated and it comes away from the sides. And uh, you might want to cover the bowl of the mixer slightly, because the raisins and walnuts tend to tend to jump a bit, and nobody wants too many raisins or nuts in the face. The dough should be very strong. Now fold into twos and then twos again, and place in a lubricated bowl or vessel. Let rise and ferment for two hours, and halfway through, fold again in the same fashion. Shape into a tight ball or boule, and uh, I place this dough seam side up in a banneton proofing basket. But if you don't have one, you can certainly just place this into a tea towel lined bowl, and that works just as well, I would say. This recipe makes about one big loaf, or uh, two smaller loaves, and that's what I did here. Let this rise for an hour or so, and then score, and you can score any way you like. Uh, I decided to do this neat diamond pattern, and then bake it in a 450F oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And don't forget to add steam! And here are the finished blue raisin walnut loaves. And I think they're very attractive. This is the one made in the, the banneton with the spiral pattern. And this is the one made uh, with using a tea towel and a bowl, which I think is just as good. And I'll show you the inside texture of this now. As you can see, it has a very nice uh, ratio of raisins to walnuts, and it has a very nice open crumb structure. And also, what's nice about it is the blue cheese gets, gives it a very nice, uh, slight lavender color that is just accentuated by the, uh, by all the raisins in this, all the purple raisins. And it's a very nice smelling loaf as well. Things are always a little nicer if they smell good. Well, let's give this a bit of a try. 
and I'm going to just break a piece off of a piece I already had and uh That is awfully, awfully good. I know I say that a lot, but I do think this is awfully good. It, uh, the, ten the intense cheesy flavor is uh, almost like Cheez-Its, actually. And um, I think the walnuts are always pair well with blue cheese. And the addition of the raisins really do does make this like a cheese course and one loaf of bread. Well, that's how to make a blue raisin walnut loaf. And, uh, even though I would say it's more purple than blue. And if you do make this recipe, and I hope you do, uh, I would say do as I did in the video and, uh, make two smaller loaves with this recipe. As you can see, you still get a very big loaf of bread. And, uh, that way you can have one half for yourself and you can give the other loaf to, uh, friend or family member or even to a stranger if strangers are what strike your fancy and uh, I'm sure whoever you give this to if they are sad this blue raisin walnut loaf will strike away the blues so thanks very much for joining me today on the baking chin my name is Ian Chin and as always I wish you happy baking I'd rather be blue Thinking of you, I'd rather be blue over you than be happy with somebody else. I'm crazy about you without you. For you, I'm strong. Very intense, cheesy flavor to. Sorry, it's a, there's a baby over here and she's trying to get at my raisin walnut loaf.